Hello, welcome to my video on Billy Sunday and fundamentalism in America. Now remember, historians must be objective and honest in their investigations and dedicated to a reasoned and investigated reconstruction of primary sources. Hello, my name is Keith Jones. I'm recording this video from Lamb Chapel uh, in Burlington, North Carolina. This is actually the, uh, the airport campus. This is their second location. It's a thriving church here in the Alamance County area. And uh, further behind me, off uh, slightly to the right, is the Burlington Alamance Regional Airport. That's the home of the Missionary Air Group. It's a provider of aviation support to uh, foreign missions and humanitarian relief efforts. I want to talk a little bit about Billy Sunday and the Fundamental Movement. William Ashley Sunday was an evangelist in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. He was born in 1862 to German immigrants in Iowa. His father died while serving in the Union Army and his mother fell on hard times and had to send Billy to grow up in an orphanage. There his superior athletic skills emerged and he began playing professional baseball for the Chicago White Sox in 1883. He was an average batter, but an excellent outfielder and, uh, and base runner. He was very popular with the fans in Chicago. In 1886, he was saved by a pre street preacher from the Pacific Garden Mission, and that same year he met Nell Thompson. Billy was instantly smitten, and the two married in 1888. Billy turned down a $3,500 per year baseball contract in 1891 to take a job as an assistant secretary at the YMCA in Chicago for $83 per month. This allowed him to minister uh, to uh, men who were in low places in their lives. Many suffered from alcohol uh, abuse. In 1893, he became an assistant to, a, uh, to evangelist J. Wilbur Chapman. When Chapman returned to a regular church pastorate in 1896, Billy decided to establish his own ministry. In 1908, Nell Sunday joined Billy's ministry as his business manager, and she expanded his operations. She added staff for music and women's ministry. This allowed Billy Sunday's revivals to boom. Billy Sunday was known for his physical stunts during his sermons. He would get a running start and slide across the stage as if he were sliding into home plate. Sometimes he would become so excited that uh, he would climb up on top of the pulpit and preach from there. He was known as a uh, staunch advocate for the temperance movement and uh, also for prohibition, uh, which resulted from the temperance movement. He was also one of the rare jets you see uh, flying here. He was also an advocate for manliness. As quoted by uh, Margaret Lambert Bendroff, Billy Sunday said that Christianity was not a pale, effeminate proposition. Jesus was no ascetic but a robust, red-blooded man who lived life to the full. Despite his uh, focus on manliness, according to Timothy Larson, Billy was a persistent and outspoken supporter of women's suffrage. Billy Sunday's ministry began to wane after World War I. Some suggest that the rise of uh, radio played a role in this. And Billy Sunday passed away on November 6, 1935, and Nail Sunday lived on until February 20, 1957. Thank you for listening.